Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to use the configuration tool for your FT Aura Lite. Now, if you haven't done so already, you need to download and install the Aura configuration tool, which is gonna be linked in the video that I've done previously to get you up to this point. The really cool thing about this configuration tool is you're gonna be able to do a really advanced setting, super simple, like differential thrust, two aileron mixing, uh, whether you want level assist right out of the box, what type of tail you have, lots of other key features like this, and it's as simple as using the wizard and answering some simple questions. So if you haven't already, make sure you download that configuration tool and that your Aura is plugged in and ready to go, and we'll get started. The first step we wanna do is we wanna plug in our Aura config tool, and we're gonna go ahead and hit the connect button. It says it's connected successfully. It's also really easy. You can kind of wiggle this and see this working. Once we've done that, we're gonna go up to the upper left-hand corner to where it says file, and we're gonna say new Aura configuration file wizard. Once we've done this, all we simply need to do is answer a bunch of questions. So the first thing we're gonna do is name our aircraft. For this one, I'm actually gonna name this off of an aircraft that's coming very soon called our FT Widgeon. The FT Widgeon is an amphibious aircraft, which also has two motors. So I'm gonna configure this aircraft for differential thrust so I don't have to do it in the radio. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the name FT Widgeon. And if you go down to this custom file here, this is really useful. Pre-installed on this aircraft are a couple key tunes that you can immediately select and have success with. The first tune you're gonna see is our FT Simple Scout. The Simple Scout and the Simple Cub will work identically, and there's a couple more advanced tuning sets for this that are gonna give you a little bit of mixes on your elevator. So when you turn left or right, it's actually gonna feed back a little bit of elevator to keep your turn from losing any altitude. There's also a couple of nice tunes in this with gains and stuff that will make your Simple Scout or your Simple Cub work even better. Now, if you're gonna load this in the Simple Scout, the board is already inverted, which is wonderful because you'll be installing this on the bottom of the wing. If you're gonna install this on the Simple Cub, you are gonna to need to rotate your board. But you can go down here and you can play with these. Just make sure that you match the configuration later. We're going to go ahead and do custom. All right, I'm going to lead these uh, gains and rates and expos just as they are. The servo type is going to be analog. Our next step is to go ahead and address how many throttles we have. When you do the drop down tab here, you're going to say no throttle, we're going to use the receiver. Or we're going to have single throttle, twin throttle, or twin throttles with differential thrust definitely going to choose the twin throttles with differential thrust. This is going to give us our key mixes that we need to be able to have left and right and it's also going to assign our aux one switch to activate this on and off. So we have our twin throttles. Uh, yes, I want this to be level assist that way I can teach people how to fly. We can have our gyro kill switch on or off. We'll have it off. And then for our wing type we're going to have one aileron. Now I'm gonna be winding my two ailerons together because ultimately we have five ports we can use and I already know that we have to use two of those ports for our throttles. So the fact that we can't do left aileron and right aileron, we're gonna to have to wind them together. If you go over here and you see where it says change orientation, if we choose to have this mounted on the side or flipped, we could simply click change orientation and we can roll the aura any direction we want or pitch it up and down. This is gonna be really useful, especially if you have some unique applications where the aura is gonna to have to be mounted vertically or inverted, like in the case of the Scout. You can also yaw this and turn this one direction or the other. For this setup, we're gonna mount it just as we have it out of the box where the pins of the servo leads are pointing towards the tail. We'll hit finish there. Once we've identified how we want the orientation of our board to be, we can go ahead and move the transmitter type. From this one, you have the drop down menu, you're gonna see a lot of common names like Spectrum, Grapner, Futaba. In this case, I'm gonna be using Spectrum. And then immediately now, when I go to receiver type, you're gonna notice that we have different types of remote receivers. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Spectrum Remote. And the port's automatically gonna say, well, if you're using a Spectrum Remote, you gotta use port B. This is the setup that I most commonly refer people to, along with the FR Sky satellite setup as well. Both of those are super simple, right out of the box, and uh, really easy to use. Now that we have this, we're gonna go down to the tail type. For the tail type, we're gonna go ahead and select one elevator and one rudder. The second we do this, you're gonna notice that our server port configuration has instantly been laid out for us. We're gonna see in server port one, we have our throttle. In server port two, we have our throttle again. In server port three, we're gonna have our aileron. Four is elevator, and five is rudder. At this point, we have our configuration complete. We're gonna go ahead and finish. And it's gonna give us the option to, uh, to store this and name this file here. And I'm gonna go ahead and have this listed as FT Aura 5 Lite FT Widgeon Config, which is automatically the name they offer us. So we'll go ahead and hit save. 
and it says load the new or config that file that you just created. Any unsafe changes will be lost. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this. After that, click right onto your Aura and it will now write everything to your board. Now that our settings are loaded onto our Aura, we can actually go ahead and install this into our widget. Uh, but one thing I wanna show you here to help you out with a little bit of channel mapping is if you go over to server ports here and click on that tab, you're gonna see actually a more detailed look of what each server port has to offer here. So when I go to my server port tab and I look at server port one, it's gonna be listed as left throttle. When I go to server port two, right throttle, Server port three is gonna be our aileron. Server port four is gonna be our uh, elevator. And server port five is gonna be our rudder. Now this is really useful because it gives you even more detail that you need to know, along with the fact that if you need to make any adjustments, you can actually do reversing here. Now that all of our servo ports are mapped up, we can go ahead and install this into our airplane with the same orientation as we have listed on the board. In this case, it's gonna be pins going towards the tail. And also we wanna make sure that we put each servo connector into the right port. Once you've done this, I strongly recommend going over to our FT Aura 5 bench setup video and follow along. What that's going to show you how to do is how to go along and to make sure that your servo reversing is done right and your gains are working right. At that point, time to take her out to the field and fly it. So friends, I hope you're liking this library of videos, but we definitely need your help in a big way. If there's any questions we're not answering in any way, we want to make content that's going to help you get over the hump and get you the best experience possible with the FT Aura 5. Please feel free to leave down in the comments below what questions you'd like answered, and we'll do our best to make those videos happen. We'll see you next time.